off. You keep running his voice through your head and it's just making you weak. His voice is bitter. It carries no truth. The idea that all pregnancies must be carried to term at all costs. It's just wrong. The man had a Bible. Well, you should read it. First page, Genesis 2, 7. Man became a living soul only after God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Until we're born, our wonderful mothers pass us oxygen through our umbilical cords. We become a full-fledged human being when the head emerges from the womb. That's when we get our first breath, our soul from God. But there's a heartbeat and a kicking and they respond to voices. You can look to your emotions. You can look to human traditions, to majority consensus, to personal experience, or a private revelation from God. But the truth is that in a single ejaculation, one sperm will impregnate a woman, while 400 million other sperms will be wasted and washed away in her urine. The truth is that Christian women, not emotionally capable of caring for children, are more likely to kill their children after they are born. And many claim that God has told them to do so. The truth is that any new king, whether it be man or beast, will kill the offspring of the previous and recently deposed king. The truth is that men have practiced abortion by causing miscarriage in the name of God without repercussion and oftentimes legitimizing these actions by claiming they are enacting the will of God. The truth is that God has practiced abortion, miscarriage, and infanticide throughout human history and all this is reve revealed in the Bible. Abortion isn't pretty but is the biology of life. To deny this is a sin to humanity and a weak man's attempt to rest the burdens of life on the shoulder of his woman, to steal away attention from his own heavier sins. As in, yes, I have committed acts that have forsaken all of humanity and even my God. But look at the woman. She has the womb, and although it was warded her in punishment, it has become too controversial an issue to trust her with its care. This is a lie in the face of God. You can't pick and choose whether you disagree or whichever you agree with. The old laws still stand, all of them. Behold the white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. This is the time. This is the story of the time. It is the time before tribulation, the birth of rapture the end of time.